You want playoffs? You're going to get it tomorrow. That's a playoff game. Because? Because it's Indiana, it's Tyrese Halliburton, and it's Buddy Heald. Okay. And because the Kings have lost three in a row, and because Indiana just beat L.A. last night, the Lakers on, on a buzzer beater, this is the closest we've been to a playoff game in 16 years. Tomorrow's game? Tomorrow night is going to be electric at Golden 1 Center. Now, when I say a playoff game, of you mean course, it more of the fans? I'm talking about the atmosphere. Yeah, and that's more of a fan yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, then yeah. that you think. I mean, I'm sure. I guess. Well, the thought would be Sabonis probably wants to score a ton against his whole team, sure. and, and I'm sure Tyrese and Buddy want to score a ton against their. Mm-hmm. But the bulk of the players is tomorrow going to feel that different? You think it will for the fans? I think. Well, what, what I'm talking about is the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. I think the fans are. I think that this fan base senses that this team needs them right now. And okay. I don't want to overstate what fans can do. I yeah. get it. But I think the fan base is going to be out in in in, in droves. I think the game is going to be a, an absolute sellout. I think it's going to be emotional with Buddy and especially Tyrese. I mean, really, Buddy's the second. It's it's Tyrese. Yeah, right. I think you're going to have old team old, old teammates looking to – settle scores with old teams. And I think you're going to have an Indiana team coming in on a roll, getting confidence, getting quality wins, the middle of a road trip. And I think you're going to have a Kings team that's like, hey, listen, uh, tired of this losing stuff, and we want to beat these guys and shut up all the people that think this was a, a, a bad trade. And, oh, by the way, in the back of their mind, they're probably, you know, also thinking, well, and now we're going to go play the Clippers in L.A., then Chicago, Milwaukee, and Cleveland, and that giant road trip. Like, we need to get wins where we need them. Yeah. I think the atmosphere tomorrow is going to be off the chain. And I I, 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 I just want to say they're 10-9. and nine. We're a quarter almost away uh, through the season. They're in a playoff position. They're above 500. They're learning a new coach on the fly. They started out 0 and 4. They're 10 and 9, but they're 10 and 5 since that first four. Mm-hmm. They haven't had any bad losses to bad teams. Let's just just if you if you thought this was going to be a 55 60 win team when they, they were doing that seven game win streak, you're just screwing yourself. Right. This is a team that's going to flirt with 500. And they're going to flirt with a play-in slash playoff at, at at the ceiling. Yeah, and I think they're looking at a team that's so much like them that's been a pleasant surprise yeah. in Indiana. Um, I, I think they're both seven and three in their last ten. Now the Kings, it's seven straight wins, then three straight losses. Indiana, they won. We know the end result. They won at the buzzer last yes. night, but they were losing the majority of the game. And yes. had they lost, that would have been two losses in LA, three losses of their last four. Yes, and they would have been eleven and nine. Yeah. So I mean, you're. These are basically what and what, but Tyrese is playing incredible basketball. Buddy's been good for them. And, um, you know, this is, like I said, a team that's been a pleasant surprise. Uh, when you, by the way, since we, we tend to do this, uh, when you look at the, the Pacers record, their wins have come against the Hornets, the Knicks, the Pistons, the Wizards, the Nets, the Heat, the Pelicans. The Raptors, that's a hell of a three out of four stretch. The Hornets, the Rockets, the Magic and Magic, the Nets again, and the Lakers. Beating teams that, I, you know, I wouldn't have said they were better than before sure. the year, but now that the year's going, they're beating some teams with subpar records. Good for them. They've also lost to the Knicks. They've also lost to the Rockets, the Wizards, the Spurs, the Nets. Like, I'll put the Kings record up against and their schedule up against the Pacers schedule all day long. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean they're going to win tomorrow night. I'm saying look at look at the losses the Pacers have and look at the losses the Kings have. There, there's absolutely no comparison. And I guarantee you, Indiana, Indiana fans right now are are going crazy. Who have the Kings lost to? They lost to the defending champions. They've lost to Memphis, the Clippers. The Blazers, the Heat, the Warriors, the defending champs, the Hawks, Celtics, and Suns. 
there's an argument, a pretty darn good argument here. If I told you that every single one of those teams I mentioned will be in the playoffs this year, you're thinking about taking that bet, aren't you? Yeah. You're thinking about taking that bet. Not gonna can't even say the same thing close for the Indiana uh, uh, schedule. So just all I'm all I'm saying is just calm down. Now listen, Kings go out tomorrow and they lose to the Pacers at home. I'm not gonna jump off the cliff. No, but then you got four in a row. You got four in a row. You're you're it's you're, a home loss. Yeah. And you're about to enter a stretch of your schedule that is that is tough acting to acting, dude. Tough acting to act. Because you you go you go down to LA to play the clips. And then you got here's the thing. Jason, and, and does this happen every year, by the way? You're going down to L.A. You're going to play the Clippers at 1 p.m. Why does it seem like every year we have like a 10 a.m. tip-off in L.A. against the Clippers? Yeah. And then they come back. Is this Yeah, this, this is, I swear to God, this happened last year. They're going to come back, and they're going to play the Bulls on a one-game home stand. Hmm. Less than 24 hours after finishing with the Clippers in L.A. That is ridiculous. Less than two. They tip off at one against the Clippers. Then they have to fly home, do that, and whatever. And it's a short flight. I get it. And then they play Chicago the next day at three. What is that? Why am I yelling? (laughs) I swear that happens every year. I'm tired of it. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know if that's Lakers playing that night at Crypto or L.A. Kings, but. A lot of times they have multiple events there. They had a, they, last year they had a Tuesday home against the Lakers and a Wednesday at LA against the Clippers. But I, I swear, I'll, I'll, I'll give up the dose here, but I, I, I swear last year the same thing happened with the Clippers. Yeah, did, uh, did they? Yep, no, yep, okay, never mind. Wait, yeah, here we go. It was Saturday, April 9th. They played an afternoon game against the Clippers. That's right. And then they went, they finished the year against Phoenix. And I want to say that was a day game as well uh, on Sunday. I, I swear this happens every year against the Clippers. Anyways, and then there was the one year before where Buddy had the uh, the steal and the run to the corner and the three there too. It's always weird with the Clippers. I'm getting lost and I'm sorry. I'm just saying calm down. Yeah. Jason, you calm down. Uh, you calm down. <laughs> it's, it's, they're 10 and nine. These are, these are learning losses against really good teams. 